So here's the zebra. Uh, essentially what's going on here, and I have a bunch of sensors inside so that I can add features to this over time. Um, but as of right now, my first iteration of it is um, it's using a single accelerometer. There's more in there, but right now it's just using one. Um, it's taking the XYZ data of the accelerometer. So an accelerometer will give you XYZ data of uh, position. It's essentially going to, it gives you acceleration data. So because gravity always pulls down in one direction, the direction that's facing down is going to have 9.8, you know, milliseconds or meters per second or whatever. Um, so I'm taking the XYZ data, I'm scaling it to 0 to 255 for these LEDs, um, RGB, and then uh, I sort of hacked together my own um, color saturation algorithms so that if the color was kind of uninteresting or boring, um, like a white or a gray or whatever, uh, it would saturate it as much as possible to get, you know, these super saturated colors. Um, so right now he's yellow, just sort of like standing still and upright. If I turn him on his side, he turns purple to blue. If I turn him on this side, you can see he's like a pink there, blue again, very deep blue. All the way upside down, he's green. So green, this is our, I think it's RGB. I think this would be the Y axis. This blue right here. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be like the Z axis. And then red is going to be like somewhere around there, and that's going to be the x-axis. Um, but the point of the toy is to give immediate color feedback um, in a light-up toy. Um, I have a speaker inside so that I can have it play sounds based on the direction that you hold the toy. Um, I actually have an accelerometer in each leg so that over time I could make this leg change colors different than that leg would change colors. Uh, there's a total of five accelerometers in it. One, two, uh, three, four, and then one in his middle, five. Um, there's the speaker, there's a microphone, um, and I don't have it currently, but I could add touch sensors if I wanted to. Uh, that's supported by the IC I'm using. Um, I wrapped each of the individual LEDs and any sort of hard component in a rigid foam. Um, it's the same sort of foam you would find in like couch cushions. Um, so that it's, you know, you can definitely feel that there's there's lumps inside of the zebra, but it's not so lumpy so that, you know, you would assume anything other than, you know, this is um, a plush animal with electronics inside of it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. It's running off of a USB uh, battery charger. Um, it's not right now, um, just because I couldn't find the charger for it, but I actually have a, here it is, a wireless charger for it, so that I can easily add this to it. This essentially would just get shoved in there, um, and then this would plug into the USB uh, battery pack to charge it and then we'd be able to just sit the zebra um, on a wireless charger that any cell phone would take um, and we could charge it that way. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this project. This is my first plush animal stuffed toy thing. I think it came out pretty neat. Um, the camera, these, these lights are very uh, bright the camera doesn't really do the color saturation justice. I can see on my camera, like, a lot of these lights, like, that looks like white. But to my eye, that looks like very deep yellow. Um, like, the same way that, like, this looks like a very deep, that's like a hot pink right there on his cheek. But I can see on the camera it looks white. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, and uh, 
we'll see we'll see how uh, baby likes it oh yeah I also added a um, um, uh, hidden zipper to this as well so this is like it's essentially just a zipper that um, the fabric sort of like pushes over on so it's it's harder to sort of like feel um, the zipper itself like that just feels like a fabric seam until like you pry it apart then you can see that there's the actual zipper plastic and stuff in there um, but yeah pretty pretty happy with this project this is a it's gonna be a pretty pretty durable toy for him to play with I I tried to um, package things up as tightly as possible wrapped everything in foam wrapped everything um, any sort of joint I made sure that I soldered and taped up and glued as much as possible so we'll see uh, how much he likes it we'll see how long it lives but uh, I'm pretty happy with it and that's it